she helped Tony get his mojo back, helped Bruce reconnect with his humanity, helped Cap find his true purpose, and helped Hawkeye, uh, keep being Hawkeye. Baby, you wanna go talk to him, okay? Go grab your hammer, and you go fly and you talk to him. But now, Natasha finally gets to tell her own story about the time she helped her own replacement join the MCU. Black Widow. You've been waiting to see the MCU's first female superhero get her own movie. And waiting. And waiting. And waiting. But Natasha Romanoff is finally getting the mid-tier solo Marvel movie she deserves. Because the ultimate sign of respect in pop culture is getting your chance to keep important Object X out of the hands of military leader Y by taking down massive airship Z. I know Marvel's taking some risks here and there, but this one definitely sticks to the old plan. So, this was the big plan, huh? I like your plan, except it sucks, so let me do the plan. We need a plan of attack. I have a plan, attack. First of all, you're copying me from when I said I had a plan. What about our plan? American bachelors in Europe. That's your plan, that's a solo plan. Come on, this is my plan. My plan was to drive us away. It's a plan. Get to know the real Natasha Romanoff, a woman struggling to overcome the trauma of being a child actor. I remember this day. We shot Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, and summer vacation all on Monday. She's got nothing but her wits and flips to protect her in a dangerous world of super spies. Although at some point, she entered the cheat code that turns off environmental damage. And for one scene, she turns into Mega Man, but they never mention it again. What? Journey to Russia, where everyone speaks with their best, uh, let's call it Sokovian accent, or just doesn't even try. How was the family reunion? Unless you're actually from Eastern Europe, in which case, you are mute. And meet the surrogate family who raised Black Widow back in her 90s ghost world phase. There's Red Guardian, David Harbour's latest attempt to hide in a Siberian prison until everyone forgets about the Hellboy remake. Melina, a monster war criminal who tortures pigs and played a willing active role in kidnapping little girls and brainwashing them into fembots. But she regrets it, so no harm, no foul, mama. Take care of yourself, okay? Don't worry, I got this. And Elena, the mischievous little braided hair sister from Little Women, who's now the mischievous little braided hair sister who's murdered untold hundreds of people. I'm not the killer that little girls call their hero. I don't know, Elena. Say three cute things about your vest and I'll take a whole Russian prison's worth of dead bodies off your ledger. It has a lot of pockets, <laughs> but I use them all the time and I made some of my own modifications. I know how much you like it. It does have a lot of pockets. Very handy pockets, yeah. It's so cool, right? It's good. Yes. And you can put so much stuff in there, you wouldn't even know. Aw, she likes the vest. So cute. <laughs> this would be a cool way to die. Eh, I'm sure they deserved it. Thrill at a story that dares to ask, what if the most powerful force on Earth, girl power, fell into the wrong hands? As the evil mastermind Harvey Weinstein, I mean Drakeoff, builds a floating fortress that evades detection because it's cloudy and uses the power of his colossal stank to keep him safe. Smelling my pheromones prevents you from committing violence against me. He's infiltrated the halls of power with the sister soldierhood of mind-controlled assassins and doing his evil bidding is the Taskmaster, a martial artist with the ability to mimic any hero's moves, but none of their personality or charisma. Smile. Because now that Marvel has themselves a Deadpool, someone had to become the Deadpool from Wolverine Origins. So if you're looking for a La Femme Nikita, but a lot, or what if Charlie's Angels, but evil, or what if propaganda was used to twist trafficked young girls towards the nefarious purposes of the rich and powerful, including Bill Clinton and Condoleezza Rice, but like, could also be a ride at Disneyland, Whee! then strap in for a movie that's good at being pretty much everything except a Black Widow solo film. Starring Sister Traitor, Soldier Spy, Florence and the Regime, Super Borat, The Manservant's Tale. Oh, a wise spy, eh? Woo, 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 woo. Babe, Pig in the Study, 
Oi, bruv, they call me Dreykov, isn't it? The Hurt Stalker. The Winter Sold Her. Mini Jovovich. Venice the Menace. And the most brutal murder in Black Widow's history. You've always been a really good friend to me. In Soviet Russia, M sees you. Wow, I wonder which full-grown adult managed to lose a tic-tac-toe. Hawkeye. Definitely Hawkeye. Feel like you don't know that much about Natasha Romanoff after watching her movie? We asked a real psychiatrist to tell us. What's her whole, you know, deal? Click the thumbnail on the right for a real analysis of Black Widow's psychological profile. I only enjoy Kraft macaroni and cheese ice cream. Stupid sexy Flanders.